So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You're really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now, you'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... Shh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> Marvin was a, uh, Marvin was a character in the original Resident Evil 2 as a, well, a much more of a minor character. You stumble across him, you came into this room, and you found the computer, like, right around this area here. You unlocked it, then you went through a door here. And you found him in there, and he was injured then, also. Clearly wasn't going to make it, just like he's clearly not going to make it here. And he tells you to go, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. He gives you sort of the same information we got here. And we move on with our day. Come back, he turns into a zombie, you know, all that. Is there, is there anything up here? Hmm, what is that, a can of spam? And cigarettes? I don't know. You know, they did the same stupid puzzle in Resident Evil 7, where you couldn't get into a box because it was taped shut until you got a knife. Something on fire out there. That didn't look like an item you could pick up, it just looked like something that was here. You know, just on the... on the ground. He's okay. Oh, yeah, well, that guy had a good day. I just thought that's funny. <laughs> I don't have any of these keys. Can't go through any of these doors. I'll eventually be able to close off some of these doors. These, uh, I'm sorry, broken windows. But for the moment, I just gotta keep going. They'll get through those, is the problem. Like that. And they'll follow you through doors. That's also cool, though. The zombies aren't constrained by the room you found them in. Oh. What was this? Okay. 
map. Trying to get in. And she did. Anyway, the strategy I found seems to work the best is actually not to try to kill the zombies, not to shoot them in the head oftentimes. It's just to kneecap the fuckers. Once they lose the ability to walk, they're still going to come after you, but their progress is going to be, well, let's just say, slowed. Damn it. See, killing him such a pain in the ass. They take so many bolts to kill. You can't always tell if they're actually dead. All of that. Such a hassle. You don't have enough ammunition. It's, oh, I don't have the key for that. I can stay away from this guy, though. There's one in here, isn't there? Yep. Damn it. Wow, you're an ugly Shit. son of a bitch. Damn it. What the hell? Of course, if it's an area that I'm going to be frequenting a lot, you know, I may want to... Oh, what was that for? If I'm going to be going through an area a lot, like, I'm going to be going through this area a lot, there is some value in killing the zombies that are in the room. Or liquors, or whatever the hell you're dealing with. What the hell is up with you? Hmm. One oh two, one oh three, one oh six, one oh nine, two oh eight. 303 Damn it. <laughs> Was that the only one I can get open? Oh, I can't get any on the open. So there's no two. 109, I can get that one open. Yes, film. Welcome to the 90s, everyone. Not much of a secure way of locking things up, is it? Oh shit. Should probably close that one up at some point. Board. I got a board right here. Fantastic. 
Especially considering that there's going to be a liquor in this room earlier. This will stop the zombies from getting through. I believe permanently. And we have our old-fashioned save room. This is actually a safe room. We don't have to worry about... Uh... Okay. Don't have to worry about zombies getting in here. Fantastic. Is there anything? Nice. Gunpowder. I'm probably going to save the gunpowder up unless I run into trouble. I'm going to be saving the gunpowder until late in the game. Because, you know, no sense in wasting it all on pistol ammunition and all that shit. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to go and wedge them into the storage thing. Oftentimes, the way it always seems to work out with me, with these, I don't have a save ribbon, do I? Oh, I don't I'll need them. Oh, okay, it's only on the hard difficulties. Yeah, I always end up in these games where there's craftable ammo and all that kind of shit. Saving it for the end of the game thinking like, ah, oh, what I really want to do is... Oh, there's a woman over there. Ah, oh, you fuck. Haha. -ha. Go down, you fucker. Ah, damn it. Okay. I'm not sure if they can make it through doors. If they're missing a leg. Oh. I forgot about this thing. Okay, so you you press the buttons in the sequence that they go. So boom, 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 boom. Ah oh, shit, I don't know where. I don't know where. Damn it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's the key. It's the missing key for the... Um... Oh, damn it. Hold on. I swear to God, the first time I opened this, I, uh, I went and just brute forced my way through it. Ah, okay. Probably shouldn't have opened that up. Alright, I don't think I can get through there. I just gotta go back. If I go back, I go upstairs. You can always hear zombies off in the distance. Doesn't mean they're there, though. That's a cruel trick. Okay, something I really didn't need right now. But okay, I'll take it. 
Gonna need that. Okay. Damn it. Okay, gonna need that key. Gonna move on, though. Something here. Oh, fantastic. Here's the thing about liquors. They're deaf. They can't hear you. I'm gonna have to go back anyway. I don't have, uh... Look at this freaky-ass thing sitting right here. Holy shit. Alright, this leads back into the main hall. So... I... Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. Alright, I'm on my way. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> If you're quiet enough, sometimes you can get through without... Ah, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you're quiet, sometimes you can get through without uh, alerting the zombies to your presence. Of course, I fucked it up. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Mm. Holy crap, we've been in here forever. It took Leon that long to find his way here. Oh, well, anyway. Gotta store some shit. Definitely not gonna need those. Probably gonna need this. I'll need this. I'm going to loop back around and need that. So. Ah, well, it seems like a good place to end the episode. <laughs>